Hey guys, with being a Mutt YouTuber, I always get the question of how do you make coins in Mutt? Now, as you can see, I only have 1,500 coins currently, but I have 6 million coins invested. As you can see, my binder has 1,199 items. So pretty much, you can do solos, and yes, solos are annoying, and they're going to take a while, they're going to be boring, and you know, you don't really have to do that 100%. That's not, you know, the only method to make coins. I think a lot of people, you know, they try to force that method upon people because I, I honestly think I found a method that consistently works and I want to say this will get you 15,000 coins per hour. So as you can see, I did grind out all the solos and honestly, it's just annoying to do and I'm not going to say, I'm not going to lie, sit, sit here and lie and say I had fun. I never had fun playing a solo. But pretty much what you're going to do, guys, is you're going to buy gold on the auction block, gold players on the auction block for 1,000 or less coins and you're going to put them into the gold player set and you're going to receive a 10 badge pack. Now in this 10 badge pack you will get increased odds of getting a gold badge and as you guys know gold badges are about 4k a piece, 3600 after taxes. So let's say main hours to do this is about 2 to 4 o'clock. Now let's say you buy, I don't know, 10 gold cards for 500 coins each. You get really lucky. Well, that's going to equal you up to 5,000 coins. Now, what you're going to do is you're going in that 10 badge pack, you're going to put the golds, you're going to sell the golds, okay? Because five golds are about 4,000 a piece. And if you put five golds in the elite player's uh, badge upgrade, you're going to be spending 20,000. Um, you're going to be putting 20,000 in there, and elite badges only go for 18. So there's no reason to do that. So I'm just showing you right here what you should filter it by. Filter by all players, gold, ultimate team, uh, base set, and then you're going to go to a team, let's say the Chicago Bears, and then you're going to go to style, and you're going to go to offense, and then defense, and you're going to switch the um, time remaining to buy it now. And what you're going to do is you're going to just go down through the teams, and if you see them up for 1,000 or less coins, you're going to buy it and put it into the gold player set. Also, guys, um, another little key tip is with the silvers and bronzes you get, put them into the badge upgrades, right? Because let's say you get um, ten, you get nine silvers and one gold. You, now that's pretty much two golds, right? Because five silvers equals one gold. And now after that, you have four silvers in your uh, in your uh, silver badge upgrade. So that next time you do this method, what you're going to be able to do is you're already gonna be guaranteeing yourself a gold badge because all you need is one silver to complete that. Now pretty much the whole method is don't do this just once, do this like consistently because the way you make coins is as I said when you had four silvers into that um, silver badge upgrade if you just say okay I did it one time done I'm not doing it anymore well you're losing coins then because you know you have four silvers worth of coins in that silver badge upgrade. Now next time you do it though, let's say you get one silver, I don't know, you get all bronzes and, and then a couple golds, well, you're going to have that one silver to finish it up. Same thing with bronzes, when you get bronzes, you're going to have bronzes in there. So let's say you pull one bronze, you're like, oh, I got a bronze. Well, you might have pulled four bronzes in previous packs, so now you have one silver, you know? So that's pretty much how it goes together. You just consistently, you keep doing it. That's how it's going to work and that's how it's going to make you the coins. And honestly, it's, and it, of course, if you pull one Elite Badge, it's GG because everything else in that pack is just straight profit. So I'm just showing you right now the prices of silvers and golds as of right now. Um, but yeah, this is pretty much the easiest way to make coins in my opinion on Mutt. It's very consistent and... You just have to put time and effort into this. Uh, a little side note though is make sure you do this. Probably prime hours would be 2 o'clock to 7 o'clock. Right now, as making this video, it's really late. So that's the reason why you're not seeing as good of, you know, calls on your auction block right away. But if you just give some time, you know, give some passion and give it some effort, you will be making a lot of coins. I promise you that. So definitely guys, if you enjoyed this video, if it made you make coins, if you're happy that you learned this method, definitely hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. It's the fastest way to get notified for new content. Also, check out other series I have going on my channel. 
I upload three to four videos every single day to this channel. I try to make it three to four. Sometimes it's at least three, but sometimes it's four depending on, you know, if new content releases. I always try to make sure I'm like the second a content releases, I upload a video for you guys. So I try to, you know, make sure I'm not late on content releases because I know a lot of people, sometimes you guys can't get on my and you guys want to know what release. So thank you guys for watching though. Please rate, comment, subscribe. Like for more videos. That Mutt Gamer signing out. Peace.